Greetings, this is Brent Maxwell, meteorologist with the National Weather Service in San Diego, California, with this week's weather briefing. First of all, showers will continue through Tuesday evening, mostly light, but a few moderate showers will occur from time to time, and not everybody will necessarily receive any more showers. Cool weather will continue through Tuesday, but it will be much warmer the second half of this week. First of all, here's a map of the Pacific jet stream and how it will progress through this week. Actually, we have lots of pieces of the jet stream. Right now, we're in a high amplitude pattern, which means the trough that's overhead is quite deep for late April. It's deep enough to bring some precipitation, which is noteworthy in itself. But then later this week, we're going to have a strong ridge of high pressure, which will bring much warmer weather to the entire region. Also, what's noteworthy is in the Western Pacific, that strong jet stream that is in the beginning of the week, or the first part of the movie that I'm showing, actually has the remnants of Typhoon Surigae moving into it, and that will help to amplify that low pressure system there. By the way, Typhoon Surigae, which occurred in the past week, near the Philippines was the strongest typhoon or any hurricane ever measured between the months of January and May anywhere around the world, including the southern hemisphere. So that's quite a feat for that to happen. We have the rainfall amounts here for the rest of the storm system from this afternoon through Tuesday evening. And for the most part, amounts are light, averaging around a tenth of an inch at lower elevations. But some parts of San Diego County should get a little bit more than that. And then the mountains will generally get a quarter of an inch to a half inch, locally greater, especially since some of the showers in the mountains may be a little bit heavier Tuesday afternoon. Snowfall amounts will be rather light with this system, a few areas could get an inch or two in the San Bernardino and Riverside County Mountains. But since most of the precipitation will be from showers, then the duration of the precipitation will not be much. And also our higher sun angle at this time of year will make it easier for the snow to melt, partly because the ground is a lot warmer than if the snow were to happen in December or January. It'll be a little bit windy in the mountains and deserts the rest of this afternoon and this evening. Local wind gusts of 50 miles per hour or even a little bit greater will occur through San Gorgonio Pass, which is along I-10, and also in some of the mountains and deserts of San Diego County. Winds will diminish overnight and will be much lighter on Tuesday. The high temperatures Tuesday will again be quite cool with only 60s west of the mountains and even the lower deserts will only be in the 70s. But look at how much the temperatures increase on Wednesday. We start to see some 80s not just in the Inland Empire but maybe even parts of northern Orange County and then 90s do return to the desert. We have a lot more 90s, maybe even getting as far west as northern Orange County again on Thursday with temperatures over 100 in parts of the lower deserts. And finally, Friday will be our hottest day with temperatures as high as about 105 or 106 in the lower deserts and a lot of 90s in the valleys and even some areas not too far from the coast. Saturday will begin our cooling trend, but still, temperatures will stay above average for probably a few days after that. Remember that you can always check out more weather at weather.gov slash San Diego, or check our Twitter and Facebook pages, which are listed below. Thanks for joining us, and hope you all have a good week.